Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to chapel for this Sunday morning. Today we're talking about the Good Shepherd. Today is Good Shepherd Sunday. And I want to start by singing This Little Light of Mine. Y'all sing with me. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Very good. Thank you for singing. I want to think today about our church building. Did you know we're going to be building onto our building and build, adding on? And we've got construction workers and architects all up here working. What do you think is the most important part of the church? Think about that. You know, Jeff might say it's the pulpit, that the pulpit's the most important part of the church. Or Gail might say, no, it's the altar. The altar is the most important part. Or our organist might say, the organ is the most important part of our church. Maybe your parents would say, the pew where we sit as a family is the most important part. And it's important that it's comfortable and that we can see what's going on. What would you say? Would you say maybe... Children's Chapel is the most important part of the church, or our catechesis classrooms, or maybe the playground. What would you say is the most important part of our church? I was reading, an architect wrote that the doors are the most important part of the church. Our front doors are the most important part of our church, according to this architect. He said that the doors have to be welcoming and yet safe and secure. And if you think about the doors on the front of our church, they're glass doors so that we can see inside. It makes everybody feel welcome. It says, come on in, there's nothing to hide here. But on our glass doors, we also have bars. The next time you come to the church, look at our front doors and you'll see that there are bars that says, this is a safe place for us as well. We want the church to be a safe place for everybody. I want to read from our gospel today. And it's Jesus talking about being the good shepherd. But he says something interesting. Not only is he the good shepherd, but he says, I am also the gate or the door into the sheep pen for the sheep. Listen to this. This is from John's gospel. Jesus said again, I tell you the truth, I am the door for the sheep. All who ever come came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate, I am the door. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. And then he goes on to say, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. And my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, I lay down my life for the sheep. Jesus uses two examples here. Um, one, two of seven I am statements that Jesus uses when he says who he is. He might say, I am the bread of life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. But he also says, I am the gate. I am the door. And he also says, I am the good shepherd. When he says, I am the gate, he is saying that he is the way that we come to the Father. We enter through him and he welcomes us and we are safe with him. He leads us to God. But then he also says, I am the good shepherd, which means he watches over us. He guides us. He knows us. He loves us. And so as we think about Jesus being our good shepherd, but also the gate or the door that we go through 
to get to the Father. We can just be thankful that we know that Jesus knows us and he loves us. Let's say a prayer and then we'll say together the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you that you are the gate into eternal life and to abundant life. You lead us, you guide us as our shepherd, but you are also the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you that you love us so much and that you know each one of us. And now we pray as you taught us when we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Think about your door at your house. As we're thinking about doors, what is your front door like going into your house? Have you looked at it lately? Does it have windows to it? Is it solid? Does it have a peephole that you can look through and see who's outside? How many locks do you have on your door? Why don't you go and count? Is it a secure place for your house, but is it also a welcoming place? Just like Jesus welcomes us. Let's close by singing together, I have decided to follow Jesus. 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 No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. We follow a good shepherd. Today is Good Shepherd Sunday, and we're thankful for Jesus. Have a good week, boys and girls. Bye-bye.